It's been a year after he was captured by the ISIS. Uh, Kerala priest uh, Father Tom Ozanalil has returned home. Father Tom received a grand welcome with Union Minister KJ Alphonse uh, receiving him at the Delhi airport. Father Tom is likely to meet the Prime Minister and will also visit the Vatican Embassy. He is also expected to address the media later in the day. Remember, Father Tom was captured by the ISIS in March 2016 during an attack on a care home in Yemen's Eden. Listen in to Father Tom. This is an exclusive uh, uh, interaction that my colleague uh, had with him. No, one moment. Sir, it's a long moment for us. Please, please, please. One minute, we'll talk. One minute. Okay. No, I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk. I will talk, please. Okay. One moment. One, please wait. Please wait. Okay. Okay, I will talk. I will talk. Ready? Everybody is ready. Father and mother. One moment. I will talk. One moment, please. Don't dictate. It was I'll talk. Ready? Everybody is ready. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Welcome, Father, to India. We are we are most happy that you are back. The whole country is happy, and uh, we are so excited that you are back. We thank the honourable Prime Minister. We thank the General of Home Minister for uh, taking this great effort. We thank the the ruler, the Sultan of Oman, and we thank the Vatican. We, we thank the Vatican for the great effort they have made. So, with all these great efforts, Father is back, and we are very, very happy that Father is back. Father, Father at Motherland, what is your feeling, sir? I am very happy, and uh, I thank God Almighty for making this day possible. All people who have worked in their own ways, I am grateful. May God bless each and every one. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bas Bas. Yes, yes, capture. Can you describe father? No, no, no. no. happy that you are back. The whole country is happy. And uh, we are so excited that you are back. We thank the Honorable Prime Minister. We thank the General Affairs Minister for uh, taking this great effort. We thank the the ruler, the Sultan of Oman, and we thank the Vatican. We, we thank the Vatican for the great effort they have made. So, with all these great efforts, Father is back, and we are very, very happy that Father is back. Cross uh, to my colleague uh, Geeta Mohan, Foreign Affairs Editor, and also uh, my colleague uh, Gopi is joining us uh, from Kerala on this as well. Uh, uh, Geeta, if I can very quickly come to you first. This is a big victory. Uh, Sushma Swaraj has been working through back channels on many such, uh, you know, incidents where Indians have been in distress, have been abducted. Uh, this is going to send a very strong message as far as our uh, foreign policy and our diplomats are concerned. Well, Ankit, yes, it is indeed a huge victory of sorts for India. Also, the fact that uh, uh, we've been able to rescue a man from the clutches of the Islamic State, that's ISIS, also called Daesh in the region, uh, is certainly a huge, huge relief for India. Uh, although uh, one has to say that with the Indian government, the Oman government worked uh, tirelessly as also uh, the intervention of the Vatican was very important given that he was an employee of the Vatican. Mm. What is going to happen today is that he is going to meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi and personally thank him for his government having taken up the matter so uh, relentlessly as yes. also external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj. These are the two meetings that he's going to have and we're told that he will hold a press conference which is where we will listen to him and hear him in detail as to what really happened what horrors he went through when he was captured there by the ISS. Gopi, if I can very quickly come to you. Uh, he is a native of uh, Kerala. What are the preparations uh, at his hometown? His family must be extremely, extremely relieved. Gopi, can you hear me? Can you please repeat the question? Yes, uh, Gopi, you know, uh, it, it's a big day for the family. They must be extremely relieved. What are the preparations, uh, f you know, for his uh, return uh, to his home uh, hometown? Well, it's, it, it's a real moment of joy for the whole uh, nation and especially for the Kerala. As Father Tom Urinalil hails from the Kotem district in Kerala. And to be very precise, uh, uh, he hails actually from Pala. 
and uh, it's actually a moment of great joy and pride for the people and his relatives who are in Pala and most of his relatives are actually in Delhi to receive the father who is coming to, coming back to India after a span of almost one and a half years mm -hmm. and his very close relatives are already in Delhi they have, they have met father uh, at the airport and they will be accompanying him all across his journey from Delhi where, where he meets the Prime Minister, External Affairs Minister possibly. Okay. And then when he's coming down back to Bangalore, they will be accompanying them. And after two days in Bangalore, it will be on October 1st that Father Tom Rinal will, direct, uh, will finally come back to Kerala. Okay. He will first arrive in Kochi Nadbashir Airport from where he will be received yes. by the prominent leaders and other priests in Kerala from where okay. he'll be taken to his hometown in Pala. Uh, uh, Gita, if I can very quickly come to you uh, for a very quick uh, you know, response on this. This is also going to give a lot of hope uh, to others Indian, especially uh, the 39, uh, 29 young Indian men from Punjab, those who were in fact uh, are missing as far as uh, Iraq and Syria is concerned. A lot of hope for them as well. Well, a lot of hope for the family members, certainly, Ankit, that there is a lot of work that the governments are doing, uh, that the Indian government is doing through back channels, have been in touch with not just the countries concerned, but all the other countries that can wield influence over the Islamic State. Yes. But we are looking at how, uh, how, uh, how important it is for India to be engaged with countries in West Asia to ensure that Indians working there, Indians employed there, and Indians living there are safe and secure. Geeta, Gopi, thank you so much for joining me uh, for this uh, quick update early morning. Uh, we'll uh, keep coming back to you for more. Let's just, before we move on, let's quickly once again listen into the Minister KJ Alphonse who went to receive Father uh, Tom and also Father Tom himself. Let's quickly listen. Everybody's ready. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Welcome, Father, to India. We are we are most happy that you are back. The whole country is happy, and uh, we are so excited that you are back. We thank the honourable Prime Minister. We thank the General Affairs Minister for uh, taking this great effort. We thank the the ruler, the Sultan of Oman, and we thank the Vatican. We, we thank the Vatican for the great effort they have made. So, with all these great efforts, Father is back, and we are very, very happy that Father is back. So, Father, Father at Motherland, what is your feeling, sir? I am very happy, and uh, I thank God Almighty for making this day possible. All people who have worked in their own ways, I am grateful. May God bless each and every Can you describe your... Thank you. 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 Thank you.